Hey there, it's Cassie. I wanted to show you a haul I got. Since I sold a few things, I wanted to reinvest in my crafting, and so I have chosen to uh, invest in some of the alcohol inks. And by some, I mean almost all, yes, I know. Uh, but I looked for deals and, um, uh, you know, kind of shopped around. And so anyway, I'm gonna show you what I got. We're gonna pull out most of the inks to start. And uh, I plan to do um, some sort of a, maybe a series or at least a video kind of showcasing how to use alcohol inks a little bit. Obviously it's going to be a learning experience for me, but I, um, I love working with different mediums. I told you I like mixed media. And so um, anytime I can get my hands on some stuff that's a little bit different or the new stuff that's out there. Uh, and I know alcohol inks have been out for a little while, but uh, I tend to try to, I don't want to say master, but I tend to try to like to at least get a good hold on the different products that I buy before I move on to something else. And so uh, I thought, let's, it's time, let's try it. All right, so this first one that I got, and here's the, this is kind of irritating, I think. So it doesn't say anywhere on this package which which grouping this is. Okay, so when you're buying online, you gotta be really careful because I ended up buying two of one because I thought it was named something else and it turns out it wasn't. And I had written down the different um, names, but anyway, there's, I wanna say about four that I wasn't able to get my hands on. So I love the colors. I just don't really like how Ranger has decided not to put what this bundle is on the outside. That makes it very hard for, um, you know, if you can't get them all at once, because some people can't afford that. And, um, you know, some people just like to buy a little bit here and there and they don't want to repeat. So uh, this one's actually Summit View. I wrote that down. I wrote down a whole list of all the different colors that come in different um, three-piece sets. And this one has the colors, what's this one, some of you, this one has uh, purple twilight, uh, sunset orange, and sunshine yellow. So that's what comes in that one. God, I can open those up and take those out. And then this set is retro cafe. Like I said, I wrote them on the back, but I don't like that they don't have it on there. Um, retro cafe has uh, pink sherbet pool and espresso in there. And I think I've noticed that espresso comes in two of them. So apparently they think you're going to use a lot of brown. All right. Another one is this set. And this one is Nature Walk. And Nature Walk comes with wild plum, butterscotch, and stream. And I thought these were beautiful. This one is the Farmer's Market. Farmer's Market has cranberry, lettuce, and eggplant. Uh, this one is Mariner, and I think I actually bought two of these. This is what I was talking about as far as kind of screwing up because you don't know what these sets are. It doesn't say on the outside. Um, indigo. All right, what is this one called? Mariner. Mariner has indigo, teakwood, and mermaid. Again, very pretty, but I think I bought more than one of those. All right, I'm gonna have a few more in here. So I'll just have to open up some of these. This one is I tried to do a really good job of keeping a list of what was in what. So this color is oh turquoise it says it right on there. <laughs> uh, so which one has turquoise in it? Turquoise and limeade. All right, this one is Spring Break. So it has the Valencia, Limeade, and Turquoise. So this one is Spring Break. All right. All right, we have another pretty one. This one is Dockside Picnic. 
and that one has watermelon, citrus, and sailboat blue in it. I thought that one was really pretty. And then this one, um, this one is conservatory. It has honeycomb, botanical, and poppy field in it. And then I got uh, a mixative. This one is the, this one has the gun, a rose gold and gunmetal. So there's only two of their metallic mixatives and the other one is silver and gold, but I thought rose gold and gunmetal would be kind of fun to, to put in. And these ones, um, like these, as I throw it around, these ones, uh, you don't have to shake these up to get these going. These are all set to go, but these have a little bit, you know, they have mica or something in them. Um, I'm not 100% sure what it is, but these will have to be, sh sh you have to shake these up before you use these because otherwise it all settles to the bottom. But I'm excited to give these a try with that as well. And I also got a few other things in my, in my, uh, haul here. So I got the felt pads and I know they have the round ones out now, but this is fine. I, um, I do have just one of these, so it'll work out just fine. I know the round is really nice and it just, you know, kind of probably works a little bit better, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm, I'm anxious to give it a try and we'll see what, what comes of it. Um, I also got the alcohol blending solution. Now, with this, it's a little bit different than alcohol, and, and if you want to buy just alcohol to reactivate the, the inks and whatnot, you're going to want to get the 91%. I, I need to go buy it, but this stuff is great because it has a resin in it, and it will react differently, a little bit differently. It still sort of does the same thing, but it reacts a little bit differently with the, dye, the alcohol inks than actual alcohol does, but I want to have both because I, I've... From what I understand, they're, they're both good to have. So I have the alcohol blending solution. I, of course, got some Yupo paper, and this is the five by seven sheets, 10 pieces. And you know, this stuff is usually pretty expensive. So I'll probably be fairly conservative with it. And I also wanna try using my um, photo paper, because I've talked about the photo paper before. I know it's gonna react differently, but I still wanna give it a try. I might really like that look. And with as expensive as the Yupo paper is, you know, we're talking, what, there's 10 sheets in here. It's about a dollar a sheet, because this is typically $9.99 to buy uh, 10 five by seven sheets of the Yupo paper. So I'm, I'm trying to be a little, I mean, I bought a, <laughs> a ton of alcohol inks, but I want to try to be a little bit conservative with how I use them, so. I also went ahead and bought this alcohol ink surfaces. Now this comes with the gloss mat and the foil cardstock. So, so it's got some gloss cardstock, which is probably a lot like the photo paper. Then we have the mat and then the, the uh, foil cardstock. I just want to see how they react on all these different surfaces. And then I also got the um, tool set. So it comes with a little ink sprayer. Let's open this up so you can take a look at what exactly comes in here. So it does have the, the sprayer, the mini mister. I have a few of these, but this one can be designated for just the alcohol. Now you will not want to use it with the alcohol blending solution if you do in fact get this stuff. Um, it has a resin in it and that, when it sprays out, you can inhale that, not good for you. You do not want to do that. And uh, it does have a stink to it from what I understand. So you're not going to want to put your blending solution in here, but you could use your alcohol in there. And then it comes with, uh, you know, these special brushes, not necessarily special, but I'm going to designate these entirely to alcohol inks simply because I wouldn't want to mix these with my watercolor uh, painting or even my acrylic painting. So, so there we have that and it has the three little brushes with the three different heads to them. So, and then as a final bit, I actually bought, oh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to put that back on there. Um, I actually bought a few tins because these can house all of my alcohol inks, 
But I also bought a couple more because uh, I plan to use these for storing my um, storing my uh, my stickles, liquid pearls, because the little bottles fit in here so prettily. I mean, I already kind of set that up, but let me show you. I have it upside down because this is, you know, this is how I would typically, that's how you could, you would store your stuff so you could see what's in there. But they sit in there so nicely that I'm going to store these upside down. And the reason I'm doing that is because these ones are my, my uh, stickles and liquid pearls. So I already put those in there, but these will work out really nicely. And I like to have mine to the surface because then it makes it a little easier to get them out. But um, yeah, so that's, and glues and other things that you could put in there. So I'm going to use it for that. I'm also going to use it for my distress oxide ink refills as well. So there we have it. There's the haul. Uh, just kind of keep an eye out for videos. If you have any questions, I'll see if I can try and tackle those. I know there's a lot of good videos out there on alcohol inks. Um, I probably won't become an expert by any means, but I will definitely have fun in the process and you'll get to see me use them a little bit. So, all right. Hey, Think, if you like this video, go ahead and hit like and subscribe if you haven't already done that. And as always, I appreciate you stopping by, commenting, liking, subscribing, all those fun things. And you guys have a great day. Bye.